Well people, it's 28th of February and I thought it was time for an update video on my tarantulas and diplorids. Just give you an update on the collection in whole really. This is now what my Linotheli Flax terrarium looks like. Check that out. Webbing galore. She's been at it like a crazy person since I put her in here. And still going for it. But I think she's now gone into pre mode. I don't know if you can see her. Oh, no, you can't through the web. And basically, she's built her own little hide. The very base of that tree under oh, all this mm, craziness. But looks great. Looks really good. And again, we a couple more diplorids. They may make great looking display uh, terrariums. Anyway, and here is my gorgeous P. Metallica, who has gone now, I think. She might be coming into pre mold actually. Oh, sorry. She's stopped eating now in her abdomen. I don't know if I can see it from. No. Her abdomen is quite fat. But she is gorgeous as ever. I'm going to try and breed this one now. Come this summer, I'm going to see if I can get her a male. Because I think she should be matured now. Yes. Anyway. Next up is my Gravid Everclear Reverse Colour. Who I am not going to disturb. But there's her cocoon still. She's right down in there. I couldn't tell you if there's an egg sac being made. I couldn't tell you anything. All I'm doing is just keeping it nice and moist. Humidity at the right uh, percentage. And just to make sure I just leave it alone. Oh, also I've had a good couple of molds. I've had two... My Avaclaria Vescals of Molt, my Olgastra Dementinensis is Molt, and my Pieveretti is in pre molt, and also I think my um, Haplopelma Cabang is also in pre molt, so I'll just go macro and get those out now. Here is my Pieveretti. I don't want to disturb her too much because I want you to be able to see her. But she has really settled in well in this uh, little tub. Which is a perfect size for Ashley. She's obviously very comfortable. But um, she has one heck of a very tight looking abdomen, quite shiny. And I have a feeling she's going to grow massive, or he, hopes she, grow massively in the next molt. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to open the terrarium up. But basically, yes, see all these tunnels she's made. I know these are arboreal, but um, she really is a bit, I suppose a bit like a summer poet. They kind of dig tunnels upwards but from underground up and then have all this structure escape routes there's one going around there and there's also one around the other side but yes so once she's molted or he's molted I will do an update on that one okay next up my Avaclaria viscola who is now Seventh in star and has the sub adult colours. Still quite blue, but now the blue is fading for like the peacock sort of feather kind of green stroke, purple stroke, um, hues of oil on water type uh, colours, but this one has grown massive on the last molt 
and I've had enough experience with these things to I I think this is going to be a male my uh, my feeling was always this one was a male very laggy and um, grows much faster than the other so sorry I can't get a better shot people but um, yes there you go okay I'll get the next one now okay here's the next one if I can just get in there to see it enough sorry I'm just one of those oh yes there we go let's see if we can yep there she is I think this is a female this one is way less leggy and slower growing not as big she's on the same molt but she is not as big as the other much smaller stockier specimen as you can see if you could just about make out there she's got kind of like the red hairs now mm. yeah sorry people quite heavily webbed but um, yeah so as long as I got one female I'd consider that a success. Okay, next up. This is the tub of my Oligustra diamantinensis. One second. This thing already has its adult colours. No joking. Hard to film. Can't get the colours of this. But yes. Beautiful. Oops. Mm. Beautiful hue of blue. Which molted last week. I need to get that mold out actually. Now that I mention it. Very, very small. There you go. Very, very small specimen. But lovely. Heavy webbers, too, by the looks of it. A bit like the green bottle blue. They even look like them. But, um, where's she gone? There she is. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Fast grown, actually, from what I've heard. And from the last mold to this mold. I'd agree. Okay, next up. Next up is my Ophanacea species, Philippinus. Philippine orange, which is right there. I think, even though her abdomen doesn't look that big, I think she's going into pre molt. She's um, stopped eating now and webbed quite a lot actually and I cannot wait for this specimen to grow this species is gorgeous fluorescent orange and um, yeah lovely very nice very nice okay I'll leave her be next up this is my Haplopelma Schmidt Kerbang very hard to film this species because she is the first one to run and hide. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, she can't. Yeah. Beautiful gold colour. But also as well I think she's in pre molt now too because this thing has been eating like you would not believe 
really has amazing, amazing appetite. Which is great. I think there's the abdomen. See right through there. Oh, don't you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave her be. Rainbow Fury adult female has now webbed herself in. I don't know if you can see that from there. There's it's a trace. She's kind of webbed up a little hide front with a thin thin veil of uh, webbing. So I'm going to leave her be. Here's my Black Palmer Bee May. I think she's going to go into pre mold soon. She's due for a molt. It's been, I think, over a year now. Anyway, and the one that's not doing good is my Green Bottle Blue. I'm not going to disturb her. She's got a little bit of webbing through the gap. I don't think you can see it. It's just about there. In that corner, but uh, yeah, not doing well at all. Just put a hide in for her, so she can, you know, get plenty of darkness. And yeah, she didn't like the move. I think it scared her. But uh, I'm leaving her alone. Who knows? Who knows? Oh well. Anyway. That's my update, and also I'm doing an update shortly on my Linotheli Flax. I'm going to, I've done a um, photograph of every day since, well, every other day since you moved into Terrarium. So it'll be like stills showing the progress of the webbing. Okay, cheers people.